guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet with Sonnet's Garden Blooms. I wanna thank you all for stopping by. Now in today's video, we are doing a thrift to treasure. So many of you know, I have been prepping and preparing for Cranberry Fest. And in today's video, my theme is, isn't everything better in threes? So when I was grabbing items to flip today, I was like, wow, I have three of that item. I have three of this item. I have three of this item. And that is going to be my theme. So I hope you enjoy today's video and I can't wait to hear what you guys all think. For project one, you're going to notice these two containers that were the same size. I recently thrifted them at the Goodwill bins. I also found in my stash the taller version of these. So right away, I'm like, this is the perfect set of three. So what I did is apply an even coat of DIYs marquee to all three pieces. I did let it dry very thoroughly and then I applied a second coat. So now that they are distressed and completely dry, I am going in with Big Top and applying an even coat uh, over all three. I'm going to let these dry really thoroughly and then we're going to come back and we are going to add a couple embellishments. So while I was applying that second coat, I set the smaller jar down and unfortunately it was on the edge of my bench or my uh, workbench and it fell and shattered all over my studio floor. So I came up with a secondary plan. I do have a bunch of um, canning jars lying around. I grabbed one of those, painted it up marquee, and this is going to be my set of three. I'm very disappointed, but uh, not much I can do. So I broke out a wet rag, and now that these are dry, I am wet distressing them and I am just randomly wet distressing all over uh, just to bring out a couple of those little the dots um, all over the jars and on the the canning jar I bring out uh, like the any of the writing on there as well. If you haven't done wet distressing, I would highly recommend trying it. It is so easy to do and it really keeps the dust down when you're using like chalk style or clay style paint like DIY. And you really have really great control over uh, what areas you want to distress as well. So I'm breaking out the stamp set letterpress and my black ink from IOD. All the items that I am using today, such as the IOD, uh, the DIY paint, all can be purchased on my website at www.sonnetsgardenblooms.com. So what I'm doing here is I pulled off one of... I think I, it reminds me of the typesetting uh, stamp set, but it's miniature. I really liked it, and I am creating these little tags for each of the jars. So I am stamping Vintage, Joy, and Mary, and then we are going to attach these to those jars. So I'm breaking out my punch and I am punching a hole in each one of these and I'm using some twine that I picked up at uh, Walmart and we're going to just uh, loop it through that hole and wrap the twine around each of the containers a couple times and there you have it. This is what the finished product looks like. I absolutely love this. I just think um, with the holidays coming, these will be really cute in a display.
For project two, I have been collecting these little containers and I realized I had three of them and everything looks better in a set of three. So I'm breaking out my air dry clay and the mold by IOD called Olive Crest. And this is by far one of my favorite molds lately. I love all the detail and all those little images in those molds. Uh, the IOD sisters seem to always hit it out of the park with every release they do. Now, anytime you're using a mold, you are going to want to use cornstarch in there. It just really helps the air dry clay release and I've used it without it. It just, it doesn't come out as easily as it would with the cornstarch. So I am just taking a little chunk of the air dry clay and I'm putting it in there. Uh, in between use, I do recommend having a plastic like Ziploc bag. I also recommend taking like a damp paper towel and leaving it in the bag that way the air dry clay does not dry out um, i wouldn't say like heavily saturated but just like a damp um, piece of paper towel fold it and i have had no problems so i'm just going to use my thumb and the molds have this micro rim and my thumb just goes right over that and makes a really nice clean uh, flat back and then I'm just letting gravity do its job. Uh, I always do that. Just uh, It just almost like falls right out of the mold. I am taking type on and just doing a nice even layer on the back. Uh, the key here is you don't want it oozing out when you put the mold on whatever item that you're uh, going to be applying it to. Once it's on the item, what I recommend doing is uh, lightly press down in the center of your mold and then just go around and make sure the entire mold is adhered to your object that you're putting it on. So I just lightly tap all around the edges just to make sure it has good adhesion. So I let that dry overnight and now I'm going to come in with DIY's White Swan and I am going to apply two coats of White Swan to the entire piece. And now that it's dry, I am going to take my wet rig and just slightly wet distress. Uh, some of these containers had really beautiful detail and just a really nice patina. And I think that I, uh, you know, it would be beautiful just to peek out through that white. So I'm just randomly distressing it all over, um, even inside the um, bowl itself and I'm gonna let it dry very thoroughly, and then we're gonna come back and we are gonna apply a big top to seal each of the pieces. Anytime you're using DIY paint, you do need to seal it, otherwise it will be reactivated. For project three, when I was on my Wandering Wednesday thrifting mission, I stopped at the Goodwill and I found these milk containers. I ended up finding uh, two six packs and that's how they had them grouped uh, and I got them for $4 each. Now, I decided to break them into sets of three because everything is better in sets of three. And then I cut these little crates out for them. So I took one by fours and I created um, a base and then four little walls. I am taking my brad nailer and what I found is if I put it right on the edge of my workbench, it, and it just makes it so much easier. And so apparently my camera was 
was not angled just perfectly, so you're not seeing it. Uh, but basically, I um, put three na brad nails on the long side and then four on the sides. And these were put together so quick, and I think they're going to look awesome with these little milk containers. Now that they are built, I had this paint in the basement and my vision here, I'm like, oh, I want a blue. And I was trying to think of a DIY paint mixture. And I'm like, I remember I had that kind of blue in my basement. So I went down there, grabbed this paint. It just was an oopsie from Sherwin-Williams. And I applied just one even coat of paint to all three containers. Now I'm applying one even coat of Big Top to the crates and I'm doing this because my vision here is I want them to look really rustic and I want to use DIY's dark wax. Uh, it is much easier to control wax with either a top coat or uh, with the clear wax and but the reason I'm using Big Top is because I also want to apply a stencil. So I'm going to clear coat it. We're going to put a stencil on here and then we're going to come back and dark wax it. If you remember a couple of videos ago, I used the new, or well, it was new to me, uh, JRV stencil, and I used it actually on those old cutting boards. So I thought, oh, I love that um, little saying, and I'm taking uh, the black velvet from DIY and I'm using my stencil brush and I'm just offloading on the stencil uh, and I am just starting to dab uh, all over the stencil and this goes really quick and I'm using the same stencil on each one because again I want to bring multiple items that are similar uh, to Cranberry Fest. After the stencil dried, I took uh, my sanding block and I just roughed it up a little bit and I love how it, like, it looks a little distressed. I didn't want it to be like a bright black. I'm taking the dark wax from DIY and I'm applying just a little bit, rubbing it all over and wiping it off with just a piece of paper towel. And I love how this makes these boxes or these little crates appear to have like years of age to it. Now I'm taking the little milk containers and just to add a little bit of decoration, I'm wrapping around some of that twine just a few times and tying a knot. And I think it really just finishes them off. For project four, I have collected three of these shoe shine kits and I love them. I think they're super cute. Uh, two of them are empty and one has all the shoe shine supplies in it, uh, but they are super cute. And I thought about leaving them as is, but then I came up with an idea. I'm painting all three uh, with White Swan by DIY and I'm applying two even coats to the entire piece. Initially I was going to paint the legs white swan as well and then I changed my mind and I decided to go with apothecary. And the reason I decided to do that I thought it would be very cute to have the feet just stand out. Each of them has a very different unique feet to them Plus, my vision here, I am going to use the transfer called Wander from IOD. And it is just packed full of all these beautiful florals. And I want these each to look unique and different, but also like they were a set. 
Now I'm going to wet distress each of these and bring out a bunch of the detail along with making them look aged. So I'm just hitting all the raised surfaces randomly all over the pieces and then I'm going to let them dry and we're going to come back and we are going to clear coat them. I'm using DIY's Big Top and I'm going to apply one even layer to the entire piece. And the key here is let it dry very thoroughly before you apply the transfer. Now I, it, it was almost dry perfect. Um, it's been raining like cats and dogs here in Wisconsin and nothing is drying. Uh, it's driving me crazy. I'm trying to paint and do all kinds of stuff. Um, and and so it almost, there was one little area that was not perfectly dried on this. And because of that, it actually, the transfer pulls up the paint. So that is just something that I do recommend. Make sure your piece is completely dry. So like I said, we're going to use Wander and I had two um, transfers uh, partially used and I'm just breaking out a bunch of different pieces. So for one of them, I just have a bunch of random stuff all over. And then on the other, I did a lot of the same pinks. And then on the other, I did a lot of the same blue flowers. And I love how all three turned out and I can't wait to hear what you guys all think. For project five, I ended up finding a couple frames recently. I found this small one at the bins and that real big one at the bins. And then last year, when I went to my very first estate sale, I found that middle one. Now I decided I wanted to add uh, some white to my display. So at Cranberry Fast, I'm going to have so much color with all my barn quilts and a lot of the other pieces. So I always tried to add whites to my display as well to neutralize a lot of the color. And I thought this was a perfect thing to do. So I'm painting all three frames, a white swan from DIY. And the big one I decided because it was already kind of like a cream, I'm just gonna leave that one a solid white. Uh, this one and the middle size frame, we're gonna come back and we're gonna wet distress them to bring out some of that dark details. After the two coats of paint were completely dry, I went back with my damp rig and what I decided here for this one, I am going to distress those really beautiful ornate pieces and then slightly distress the other like right around the edges there's a it was almost like little like just a lot of detail that was dark as well and that is all I'm going to distress on this frame here is the large one and initially I started distressing it and I realized it was just like gonna show me some cream. So instead I covered that back up with some white swan and I went on to the next frame. Here's that beautiful frame that I had picked up at the estate sale and oh, this one I just love. I really want to keep it myself guys, uh, but I can't keep everything right. Um, so I am just bringing out all that beautiful detail and I also am bringing just around the edges I'm doing a little bit. Uh, but I love how that gold just peeps through that beautiful white swan. 
Now that they're completely dry, I'm going back and completely sealing all three frames with Big Top and I'm applying one even layer to all three. I can't wait to hear what you all think. I had so much fun coming up with today's video. Um, I love just creating and flipping items and making them unique and beautiful. And I was really excited that I was able to take three of each of these items and get so much accomplished all in one video. So uh, in the comments, let me know what you guys think of it. And was it a hit or a miss with those shoe shine kids? I thought they turned out awesome, but I know I'm probably gonna get some people saying like, why did you paint them? Um, I think that it enhanced their beauty. <laughs> So, well, I hope you guys feel the same way. Um, if you haven't been to my channel before, uh, thank you for stopping by, like I said, and I, you're gonna find a lot of DIY, thrift hauls, thrift flips, really a day in the life of a small business owner. Uh, so if this is the type of channel you like, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. That way every Monday and Friday when I upload a video, you'll be notified. And I have been putting out a whole lot more content over on my other socials. So go ahead, follow me on those. And tonight I'll be doing a live. Um, this month I am bringing you along as I'm prepping and preparing uh, for Cranberry Fest. And I do have a little surprise to show you guys tonight. It's of a new product that will be available on my website. I, I've been like, keeping it a secret and then apparently I could have already told you guys so um, I'm gonna sh release it uh, tonight uh, during my live. I want to thank you all for watching and to Friday's video I am going to be doing probably another thrift flip because I have a ton of items that I still want to bring with me to Cranberry Fest. So this is the perfect opportunity just to keep flipping and videotaping and showing you guys what I'm coming up with. All right, well, we will see you Friday. Otherwise, join me tonight. Bye.